Hello, welcome to this guide that will show you how to add a path to your system global path variable and this is useful later on when you if you want to have a go at the programming tutorials that I'm going to provide or you might want to add a path to this variable for other reasons but it's it's uh, just for working with the um, DOS box or the command prompt window it's only going to be helpful for that area first step is to fire up control panel and switch to classic view this gives us the normal view from Windows 98 or older versions of Windows where everything is flat basically everything's there and what we're going to do is click on system we see this uh, dialog pop up go to advanced click on environment variables and we see a list of the system variables in the bottom window here and in the t on the upper window is the uh, user variables but we're interested in the system variables what we want to do is go down the list until we find the path variable and highlight it and then click edit and we see the variable name and we can see that we have a the variable name which is the path and that variable holds a list of all the directories that will be searched by Windows if you type in anything and you can see here that I've added this after the existing pass it's fairly long it's got a list of all the directories that you can uh, run programs from without having to type in the complete directory so if you go to the command prompt you can just type uh, any of these programs just from any directory and it'll run and that's what we want when we're compiling programs with our compiler that we're going to download in the programming tutorial or any other program that you want so I've added a semicolon after the last entry and I've just put c slash dev cpp slash bin and it's in the bin directory that all our programs will be held for compiling our software and um, that's it That'll every program in the bin directory can now be run from any directory in Windows just click OK when you're finished as an example, we'll just try and run GCC, which is the compiler from the C directory on the C drive. And it works, but it's just complaining that it doesn't, hasn't got any input files. We can go to change directory to the documents and settings. And we'll try running it from there, which is it's not in this directory, but we'll see if it'll work. And it works. It's just complaining about not having any input files, but it still works. And this is handy because we want to run GCC from the directory where we're storing our source files. And we don't want to have to put everything in the GCC directory. We we move it to us. That's that's why we do this. It's very handy.